I am thrilled to present to you Dr. Rebecca Del Conti, who comes to us from Joe Sun's lab in immunology. She's going to tell us about life in the fasted lane. What would you say if I told you that the timing of your next meal could determine how your immune cells respond to viruses, pathogens, or even tumors? Would it make you question when your next meal should be? Modulating our diets for health and longevity is not a new concept. In the early 1900s, scientists discovered that by chronically reducing our calorie intake, we could increase our life expectancy as well as reduce the incidence of some types of cancers. How the immune system fits into this story, however, is still not well understood. But with the rise of the cancer immunotherapy revolution, which is using our body's own immune system to fight cancer, this link between our diet, the immune system, and cancer has really come to the forefront of medical research. Now, it's all well and good for scientists to tout the health benefits of chronically reducing our calorie intake. But what's one fundamental thing we know as human beings? Diets really suck. <laughs> so cue in short-term fasting. Short-term fasting is a way to see these same health benefits that we see with chronic calorie restriction. But instead of needing weeks to months to see these changes, short-term fasting allows this to happen in just a few short hours. So where does my research fit in? Well, let me give you a scenario. Let's think about a typical Western diet. This usually involves around three meals a day with a very high probability of snacks. Now, during this continuous eating period, our immune cells are circulating around in our body in somewhat of a rested state. In the context of cancer, these immune cells are likely within the tumor as well, but basically this is a very standard situation. Now let me give you a different scenario. Let's say you had dinner last night, you went to bed, woke up this morning, you skipped breakfast, you skipped lunch, and now it's almost 5 p.m. on a Friday and your stomach is rumbling. Despite the rumbling, what my research has shown is that during this fasting period, those rested immune cells are now in a supercharged state, ready to attack invading pathogens. Not only that, but in the context of cancer, these fasting-induced signals are driving these supercharged immune cells into the tumor, where they can attack, destroy, and kill. This is where it gets really exciting, because as we begin to uncover these signals, we can target them to drive our immune cells of interest into a whole range of cancers. This not only paves the way for us to improve current ca cancer immunotherapies, but it also helps us to develop our own novel immunotherapies. So I want to leave you with a question. When will your next meal be? Thanks.